in a suburban San Fernando Valley tomato garden of Van News in Los Angeles, Theo, self-named Turbo, is a garden snail who dreams of being the greatest racer in the world, just like his hero, five-time Indy 500 champion Guy Gagne. However, his obsession with speed often makes him an outcast in the slow and cautious snail community, and a constant embarrassment to his older brother, Chet. One night, Theo wanders onto a freeway to admire the traffic and wishes upon a star, later revealed to be an airplane, that he was fast. Suddenly, he is sucked into the supercharger of a Chevrolet Camaro drag racer, fusing his atoms with nitrous oxide. When he wakes up, he possesses super speed and some characteristics of a real car. However, his first attempt to try out his new powers ends with him crashing a boy's tricycle into the garden in which many other snails work, resulting in him and Chet getting fired from the garden crew. Chet angrily scolds Theo for his recklessness and ends up being snatched by a crow, but is pursued and rescued by Theo at a run-down strip mall called Starlight Plaza. There, they are captured by Tito Lopez, a Mexican-American taco truck driver, and are brought to a snail race held by him and his co-workers. Theo wins the race in a matter of seconds, astounding both humans and snails alike, earning the respect of the snails, led by Whiplash, and firmly establishing the name Turbo as his own. Chet, on the other hand, is not happy with his brother's new ability. Tito dreams of reviving Starlight Plaza, in which his taco business is set up, with Turbo as an attraction, much to his brother and co-worker Angelo's annoyance. The snails eventually manage to divert and strand a tour bus, bringing impressive business. At this success, Turbo convinces Tito to enter him in the Indianapolis 500 as a competitor. The neighbors agree to put up the entrance fee and accompany them to Indianapolis. Turbo is a 2013 American 3D computer animated sports comedy film produced by DreamWorks Animation and distributed by 20th Century Fox. It is based on an original idea by David Sawin, who also directed the film in his feature debut. Set in Los Angeles, the film features an ordinary garden snail named Turbo whose dream of becoming the world's fastest snail comes true. The film was released on July 17, 2013. The film stars the voices of Ryan Reynolds, Paul Giamatti, Michael Pina, Snoop Dogg, Maya Rudolph, Bill Hader, Louis Guzman, Ben Schwartz, Richard Jenkins, Michelle Rodriguez and Samuel L. Jackson. The film was met with mixed to positive reviews. Despite earning $282.5 million on a $127 million budget, the studio had to take a total of $15.6 million right down on behalf of the film. A television series based on the film, titled Turbo Fast, with only Ken Jeong and Mike Bell reprising their roles, 
was put into production a year before the film's release, and it first aired on Netflix on December 24, 2013. The film was dedicated to animator Nicholas Sangerhopper, who died of brain cancer before the film was released. Turbo received generally mixed reviews from critics. The review aggregator website Rotten Tomatoes gives the film a 67% approval rating based on 114 reviews, with an average rating of 6.1 out of 10. The website's consensus reads, it's nowhere near as inventive as its off-the-wall premise might suggest, but Turbo boasts just enough colorful visual thrills and sharp voice acting to recommend as undemanding family-friendly fare. Another review aggregation website Metacritic calculated a score of 58 out of 100 based on 30 reviews. Peter Daybridge of Variety gave the film a positive review, saying co-writer, Director David Soren's story offers little that even the average six-year-old couldn't imagine, though the film's considerable charm comes through via its characters and sense of humor. Chris Nashuati of Entertainment Weekly gave the film a B, saying while there's no denying that the film is a harmless, wholesome, and heartwarming ride crafted with Polish and skill, it's also so predictable that you'll see every twist in the story driving down Fifth Avenue. Lou Luminick of the New York Post gave the film three out of four stars, saying let's just say there are no surprises here, and that's not necessarily a bad thing in a film that's aimed mostly at the under-10 set. Massively, the characters and the comedy are just sophisticated enough to keep their minders from drifting off. Bill Goodekunz of the Arizona Republic gave the film three out of five stars, saying there's certainly no harm in seeing Turbo. Competent, pretty funny in places, awfully nice to look at, that sort of thing. There's just not a lot of excitement, though. Rafa Guzman of Newsday gave the film two and a half stars out of four, saying Turbo has just enough heart to make it to the winner's circle. Claudia Puich of USA Today gave the film two and a half stars out of four, saying this good-natured but generic animated tale of a puny garden snail with huge dreams has some appealing characters, a few laughs and then devolves into a predictable tortoise and the hair spin-off. is initially refused entry into the race due to insulting a race official. But a chance meeting with Gagney gives Turbo a chance to show off his speed. Astounding the audience and the racers by qualifying for the race via achieving a speed of 226 miles per hour. Becoming a sensation on social media and forcing the CEO of IndyCar to reluctantly let Turbo compete. The night before the race, after a heated argument with Chet, Turbo sneaks out to meet Gagney, who reveals his true colors by demoralizing him. In the race, the racetrack and the more experienced competitors leave him trailing in last place. At a pit stop, Whiplash and the crew give Turbo a vital pep talk, advising him to stop racing like a car. Turbo uses his small size to his advantage and rapidly gains ground but Gagney resorts to cheating and knocks him against the wall, damaging his shell and weakening his super speed. With one lap to go and Turbo in the lead, Gagney, refusing to lose to a snail, inadvertently drives over debris on the last turn, causing a pileup involving most of the competitors, including Turbo, who wakes to find his shell punctured and his super speed gone, so he falls into deep despair. Alarmed at seeing his brother losing hope, Chet, with a change of heart, braves several dangers to meet with Whiplash's crew. Seeing Chet and the crew arrive on Crows to encourage him to continue, 
Turbo resumes the race. Gagney single-mindedly pursues him, dragging his wrecked car, but Turbo narrowly wins and Gagney is assaulted by one of the strip mall business owners for trying to harm him. Starlight Plaza thrives from Turbo's fame, all the businesses become spectacular successes and hold elaborate snail races. Whiplash's crew are given special propulsion aids for their shells, while Chet is content with his new job as the track referee and paramedic. As for Turbo, he discovers that his shell has healed, and with it, his super speed has returned. In a mid credit scene, one of the snails from Turbo and Chet's garden is finally able to tuck into his shell, only to realize that he is too big to come out.